Mullen. I guess maybe they want to get a whole group picture too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can stand next to you. It's one of my perks being president. That's right. And incidentally, congratulations to all of you. I understand you all are in our Well, Mr. President, as you may have been mentioned, this is your organization since you belong to it. Eileen is the first woman president, which is quite a distinction. She may also be the first medical officer. No, we found out. You see, it's because that they, they don't make them wear the things when they become generals. That during I, World War II, the president was a dental dental mm -hmm. officer, dental yes. general. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I'm not the first one from that. Well, well, anyway, congratulations. Bad, I want you to know that I found absolutely nothing in the way of a handicap on being a female president. <laughs> 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 well, I, I think it's interesting that uh, I don't know of any group country is more supportive of your defense policies in the ROA, and Bob Sapiro has uh, got a tremendous uh, professional staff uh, in support of the elected officers, and it's really very well. We appreciate the rapport we have, and we'll keep it up. I have to tell you a story that you can use sometime. Oh, good. You know, I discovered just recently the Marines uh, had women in the Marine Corps in World War I, and the end of the war, Secretary of the Navy is going for the great ceremony and so forth and mustering the night. And then, bad choice of words. He said this unfortunate line. He said, we will not change. He said, just as we embraced you in uniform, yesterday, tomorrow, we will embrace you with a heart. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have to change the, the word anyway with all the changes we get and call it the multi-form. <laughs> <laughs> yes, not bad. <laughs> all right. Well, well, again, thank you for... Well, is it tie bars, sir? Here. Tie bars, sir? Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Two more tie bars. Thank you, sir. This is a stick pen. I think it belongs to the same This is a stick. I don't think it's going to be used. Can you get a break? Thank you again. It's a rare pleasure. Yeah, it's risky. Please keep on working. Thank you very much. I appreciate that very much. Thank you, sir. 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 Well, thank you very much, and I'm very sorry to have this. Now I have a third <laughs> from the first one, too, and I'm most grateful. And incidentally, may I please convey to all of you my great pride in my Thank you, sir. Much of you and many of you I'm more proud of than I am. Well, you and you have one, particularly the third. Thank you, sir. you once last summer when you dropped by a briefing for us. Yes. We enjoyed it so much. I'd like to present you Mrs. Josephine Jones, who is the past yes. president of the National Women for the Soul. She's an honor to have you here. And Mrs. Lorraine Wentworth, who is the immediate past president. Well. Very pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. And Miss Mary Elizabeth Ahern, who is a member. Hello. 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 Thank you. Nice to be here. And then we have a few presentations about the well. Yes, Mr. President, <clears throat> I would like to present you with our highest honor, the General John A. Logan Medal, which is given for morality, patriotism, leadership, and all those goodies. Well, thank you very much. And, and this plaque to go, of this citation to go along with it, which says from the National Women's Relief Corps, Auxiliary to the Grand Dame of the Republic Incorporated, 
presents this day, and we're very persistent. This says October 13th, 1983, <laughs> and we've been this long getting it to. The General John A. Logan Medal, in recognition of his dedicated service and faith to our country's destiny, <laughs> and as one who continues to exhibit qualities, morality, leadership, responsibility, and above all, patriotism. Well, bless you, and thank you very much. And you brought it up. I was not sure whether I should or not, but I know this has been a long time coming, and I regret the delays that have taken place. And I'm very pleased and honored that we could now at last do it. Thank you. Well, thank you. And Ms. Uh, George has a presentation. Mr. President, in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31, there's a very inspirational message. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like angels, as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Our national president's theme in 83 to inspire her membership was, under the keen eye of the eagle, let us soar to new heights. Coincidentally, Dr. Schuler is using the eagle to inspire those under his, members, under his ministry. I felt it only appropriate that this small token be presented to you, Mr. President, who by both word and deed convey those same inspirations to all Americans. Please accept this and let it be a personal reminder of those touched by your enthusiasm, integrity, devotion, and patriotism. Well, thank you very much. I'm very honored that I should be honoring you because I know about the GAR, but I also know about your organization. Uh, we're trying to refurbish our military defenses, and you're doing so much to refurbish our spiritual defense. I'm most grateful for all that you do. Well, we thank you so very much. Well, President, excuse me, we have two staff members here who'd like to be presented to you. Oh, all right. Ms. Jan McGee from North Carolina. Pleasure to meet you. Ms. Peggy Jones. She's a daughter of the Congress. Ms. Ellen. 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 Ms.
Thank you. Thank you. 
Do this. <laughs> 